Hello, everyone. I am Bethany Johnson, and I'm here at the Preschool All-Stars podcast, joined today by Aisha Ramsey. How are you doing today, Aisha? Honey, so. I'm doing great. Thanks so much for talking to us. I like what you got going on here, and we're going to get... We're going to dive deep into that, but first I need to hear what was going on before you decided to start your preschool. What's your background? Um, well, bachelor's and master's in criminal justice and administration, um, dance studio. So I yes. Was a uh -huh, already. Then COVID hit. And Wait, I, you owned a dance studio or you taught at a dance studio? I owned a dance studio. Yes, girl. I have a degree in dance. I was taught oh, wow. dance for, for 10 years. Oh, wow. awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank okay. you. Okay. Sorry, I just uh, had to throw that in there because that's exciting. <laughs> I do I actually want to talk about that too, but keep going, keep going. <laughs> um, so then, you know, COVID was really hard. Had to close the studio down, but that didn't change life. I still had four kids of my own mm. as well as a foster child. Okay. So it was like, what am I going to do? And then I was didn't know what to do about school. And even my dance studio was therapeutic and educational. So mm -hmm. then I went was on social media and ran across Joyce Preschool. And I'm like, oh, wait, instead of a daycare, why not preschool since I like to teach anyway? Yeah. That's how I got here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, wait. So how long have you owned a dance studio? Uh, since 2016. That's awesome. And how many, how many students did you have in your dance studio? Um, about 75. Awesome. And did you own the building? Were you renting the building? Renting. Renting. Okay. So you just, it just, you closed down. Are you, do you have plans to open that up again anytime or are um, you just sticking with preschool for right now? Maybe soon, but right now preschool is amazing. Um, yeah. I miss dance, but it's like trying to juggle everything at the same time. Mm -hmm. Totally. And did you do anything in criminal justice after you got your master's in that? Oh yes. Yeah, so I was a correctional officer and a police officer. Okay, cool. Wow. So you've done it all. I love it. Police officer, dance studio owner, preschool teacher. You're a very well-rounded person. Very yeah, well-rounded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you decided to start a preschool. How old are your kids? Um, mom, my first foster daughter is 19. I just have two more. So I have a 19-year-old, a 17-year-old. My bio kids is 10, 5, 3, 1, and my last foster child is one mom. Oh my gosh, girl, you got a lot going on. How do you do it? Wow. Okay. So you're like super mom and you're like, I'm just going to start a bunch of businesses and just do it all. And I love it. Awesome. Okay. So let's get dive into that preschool. Is it online or is it local? Local. So um, my house has a mother-in-law suite. So I turned Ooh. the mother-in-law suite into a complete preschool. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. So does it have like a bathroom and a kitchen and everything in it? Yeah, so it does have a bathroom, a full bathroom with a shower. Um, it has a sink and everything. And yes, we do have a kitchen area as well. Oh, man, that's an awesome setup. And a mother-in-law suite, never thought of that, but that's like perfect. Cool. <laughs> okay, and how long have you been open? Um, I opened in April when I enrolled my first student. Um, and that was after not jumping onto Joy's uh, challenge in January. So I had to wait till April. Um, and I am full to capacity. <gasps> Yeah. And waiting list. Oh, wow. We love to hear that. Okay. Are you licensed? Yes, I am licensed for up to 12 at one time. Nice. So you have 12 in yes. each class. How many classes do you have? Um, so ours is more of a full day with before and after school. Okay. I've still incorporated dance. Oh, yes. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay. <laughs> Tell me all about this. Okay. So what are your hours? Um, so our hours are from nine to four with before care starting at six to eight forty five nine and then after care starting at four to six perfect okay wow so you got a long day you got a long day well no i don't work those hours i have that <laughs> okay okay i was gonna say whoo you're busy okay wow so i'm sorry my schedule i stick to joy's um plan with how we teach the curriculum so okay. i put them in within those ranges from nine to eleven and twelve to two Okay. Awesome. So, but, so it's the same 12 kids throughout the day. Um, yes. Or do some come in and out. Okay. Same 12 kids. Okay. And how much do you charge a month? It so our weekly? prices goes by age. Oh, okay. What ages do you have? So for ages two, it's 190 for age three is 180 for age four and five is 170. Okay. And that's from the nine to 
nine to what was uh-huh, per week. This is weekly. Oh, per week. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. So how do you incorporate dance into your program? Um, so it's a performing arts program. So we have dance, music, theater. We teach sign language, Spanish, and we're introducing Chinese. Oh my gosh, you do it all. Wow. This is so cool. I love it. I'm like so excited <laughs> to hear all about it. Okay. Um, and so when you come in, what do you teach? Do you teach like the dance component? What do you yeah, so do? Yes, I do do the dance sometime. And then I uh, use Joyce curriculum as well as a Becca curriculum because we do also do the Bible. Okay. Um, and then sometimes we'll have like a virtual teacher or we'll have a teacher come in and do um, a little lesson as well. Mm, where do you find your virtual teachers that come in just for like a special thing? Um, from different uh other entrepreneurs. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how do you find them? Do you is it are you in part of some like sweet networking group? Well, yes, <laughs> I am an awesome um preschool all stars, and they yep. have so many um awesome teachers there. Um, and then some people just uh hear about what's going on and they want to get involved. Yes, that's so cool. Preschool- where where are you located? North Chester, Virginia. Virginia. Cool. Oh, I just talked to someone who was in Virginia too. Okay. So how many teachers do you have? Uh, including me three. <laughs> cool. And where did you find them? Um, around the area. <laughs> okay. Did you like put out an ad on Indeed or Facebook or something? Well, no, everyone, or did you know them? I knew them. So everybody was inspired once I started talking about this and how I, instead of doing daycare, I wanted to do preschool because I found joy. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so everybody was like, oh my God, that's so cool. I want to be a part of it. So of course we had to do the proper channels and background checks and yeah. training, joy's training. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. Wow. That's, that's, that's great. Okay. I'm like, there's so many questions. What do I even, what do I even ask? Okay. So throughout your day, like go through a little schedule throughout the day for me. The kids get there. I need to, I need the deeps. Okay. So they get here. We do our special code, whatever, if they want a hug, fist bump, a jump or a dance, okay. um, we eat breakfast. Then okay. we have circle time. Do you uh, serve breakfast or do they bring breakfast? We serve breakfast. So we're um, connected with a lot of the state programs. Okay. Um, so yeah, we serve breakfast. We do our circle time. We have activities. We have our share time. We go outside, we play, we come in, we do curriculum work. And then mostly everything else is through play, depending on which day it is, is which specialty we have, which is the dance, the Spanish, et cetera. Awesome. Awesome. So what do you teach like in-house? You teach dance in-house and then what other things do you teach in-house and what do you outsource? Oh, mostly everything is in-house. Oh, okay. okay. Uh-huh. And then you just have random special uh-huh. people come in. Okay. They cool. can get exposed to different teaching, teaching uh, methods. <laughs> And you had some of the all-stars come in to do Zooms? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Not yet, cool. but that's the goal. <laughs> nice, nice. I just had an all-star make my school t-shirts. So the all-stars oh. is, yeah, there's a lot There's a lot you can, just from not just advice, but, you know, everyone's got like special talents and services they offer. So it's yeah. really cool to have that group of ladies that we can go to. I didn't even think about it. I put out a thing about, saw someone else post that they, one of the all-stars made them a t-shirt and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to jump on this because I've been looking for t-shirts. So yeah, it's nice to be able to support all the ladies in the group with stuff, you know, yeah, not just I love preschool, preschool class. All stars. Yeah. Okay. Well, I usually I ask this near the end, but tell me how they have, tell me how they've helped your journey. I mean, just with the positive uh, stories being shared, having the questions, the transparency, um, even though Joy is like at the top and this is her program, she's always there, always accessible, always transparent of her journey to help us. Um, like th- from her, overselling lets me oversell. So like mm. literally seeing how she doesn't know, like preschool all-stars, everybody, it's just like a great vibe. Like what would I do without it? <laughs> yeah, I know. I think we all feel that way. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> so what was it like to get your first sign up? Tell me about that. Oh my God. It was amazing. I went, I went straight to the, ch- um, to the, um, preschool all-stars. Like, Oh my God, I have my first sign up. I didn't think it was going to happen. <laughs> like from the steps of her three day challenge was three days, ch- all the ch- whatever it was. Yeah. It, it yeah. Was. yeah. Like, I wouldn't know what to do. I would have tried to do it this way. And it, it would have been like trying to catch flies with vinegar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you do um, the founding family scrap script? Is that yeah, how you I got did. the first one? Uh huh. I did. And I had, I had more than seven. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh my yes. gosh. How quick did it take? Like how quickly were you 
getting signups? So I opened April 13th when I had my first student and I was full before summer that fast. So nice. April, May, June, by June, I was completely full. Nice. And did you have a, um, a summer camp, like a summer program? Uh-huh. Yes. Ma'am. And was it, was it the same hours? Yes. Uh-huh. Cool. And now you're all full and on a wait list? Yes. yes. Uh, doesn't it feel good to have a wait list and you don't feel like you're constantly yeah, have to does. have to market and you can like, okay, I can take a break. I can breathe. And yeah. if someone leaves, then I don't have to go find someone else. I already got people lined up to do it. Such a nice feeling. Yes. Um, it yeah. definitely um, bridged the gap for resi- residual income. Mm. Um, like, so literally everything that she said and she explained and keeping the faith is exactly what I did. And it actually come, it is, it is definitely given what it's supposed to get. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. Cool. Okay. So where do you see this business going five years down the line? Maybe Um, a building. <laughs> So you want to do it like a center? Yes, I definitely want to stick with it. Um, I love it. I love kids. Clearly, I have my own in foster care. So um, I love it. My parents are happy. Um, half, none of them knew me before this started. They met me and fell in love. So that was like a good feeling. And, mm-hmm. you know, they need people need good educators that actually love their kids and not just in it because it's a job. Yeah, yeah, so, totally. Um, I love it. And I'm definitely going to stick with it. Did you have any of your dance studio families come to um, to the preschool? They've donated, but all my dancers were mostly older. But okay. I did gain a lot of preschoolers for um, part time that dance in my tiny tots class. Nice, yeah. So, yeah. Totally. <laughs> and they went virtual, but I'm not ready for that yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can always hire someone for that since you got a lot yeah, on your plate. <laughs> So do your kids join in with you during class? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. My kids love it. They come after school and they love to do the after school activities with the kids and everything. It's amazing. Awesome. So are they, are some of them in school during the day in public school or out of the house and then they come and join? Mm-hmm. Nice. And how does it feel to be able to be with them more often? If the little one is the little one with you all the time? Yes. Uh-huh. So the last two are with me. Um, the other ones are in school and they come home, but it's, it's amazing. Like they learn here, then they take it back to school. Then they love to come and teach the preschoolers. It's amazing. Like, I don't feel like if I did anything else, I would have as much time with my kids as well as teaching them, you know, educational value and loving on other people and different things like that. And seeing me in the atmosphere and being home, it's a blessing. Totally. Absolutely. How do you think your previous experience in criminal justice and owning a dance studio um, helped you start a preschool? Um, it definitely went into it. It tied into it. It, um, it filled the empty voids that I did not know um, before knowing the preschool system mm-hmm. that Joy showed. So it definitely helped me not be so behind. Mm-hmm. So um, it helped me migrate and navigate more rapidly right. than I right. would have if I did not have it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Understand. I mean, you are, you already had the experience of going through licensing and b- getting a business, you know, starting a business, you already started a business. So that's, yeah. that's a nice jump start on a lot of us who did not yeah. have any experience. <laughs> <owning a business. laughs> uh, so how is your life different now than it was a year or two ago? Um, absolutely amazing. Like I'm happy. Um, well, not stress-free because you know with kids there's always something but it's not the same like it's it's amazing I can play all day and teach them mm-hmm. um, I absolutely love it if I'm if I'm panicking about a form or something I can literally contact Joy and she'll be like oh here it is um but you know you can ask these people as well but she it's not like she's standoffish like oh no don't ask me like she'll literally answer you and everything is laid out like how can you not it makes life so easy Yes. Um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I could tell, man. You're like a ray of sunshine. I love it. I love it. What has been your biggest roadblock in this journey, would you say? Um not being able to take more kids. Mm. Yeah. And that's where that bigger building comes into play, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. But understanding not to move too fast. Joy talks mm-hmm. about that as well. 
Mm-hmm. So she yeah, literally totally. lays out every part of thinking and from her being a wife and having kids and everything, she literally goes through the emotions of everything that you literally can possibly think of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Joy's been there through all of these experiences. That's yeah. the best part is that she literally has firsthand experience of any, any step that any of us could take. She's, she's taken that step and more. So it's really yeah. nice having having Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And she's so honest about it too. Like she'll tell you the ups and downs of all of it, which is great. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, her and you never met her in person. Yes, exactly. I know it's crazy. It's crazy. (laughs) So how do you deal with, um, parent engagement? Um, fine, I guess, cause I'm a people's person anyway. So Mm -hmm. one thing that I definitely took from joy, um, to, you know, do everything is to over sell everything. Mm -hmm. I guess so. they leave no questions on the table because I already answered everything. Like it's a no brainer. That's what it is. Yeah. So that's how we do when, when they come, when the parents come, we, you know, give them updates and different things like that. And they love it. So Mm -hmm. parents that have been in previous preschool settings or daycare settings said, this is the best because we communicate often. We send pictures, you know, we give updates and they can actually see their child learning. So the communication is definitely amazing. Awesome. And what about, um, your staff? How do you, Oh, what's the best way to ask this? Hmm. I just hired my first staff and I've just like been really struggling with how I can be the best boss. Now you probably already had experience cause you hired dance teachers. So you had a staff there and now you have two employees of your own here. What is your advice for someone who is a new boss wanting to be a good boss, but struggling with kind of the, the balance of like not being their friend, but being friendly and being, you know, supportive while still having to play the role of boss and giving feedback and all that. Um, I would say definitely pray, um, give them, you know, lead way, let's make your vision plain. Mm -hmm. So that way, when you're not there, the business still runs how you saw fit for it to run. Mm. and then let, give them their creativity and stuff so it's not like a it's just all one way but they have their creative juices as well to you know help it help it grow mm. that's good I like that make your vision clear yes I like that okay <laughs> okay let's see I'm trying to I mean I feel like you've done so much I want to like <laughs> ask you all the questions and I'm they're jumbled in my brain right now what <laughs> What advice would you give other ladies who are, um, I don't know who, where you were just a little bit ago, but maybe they're what they had, whatever they had going on was no longer because of the pandemic and they had to restart and, you know, and what advice would you give someone who's pretty much starting over? Um, follow your heart. Um, it's definitely scary, but what isn't scary that's worth reaching for. You know, it's, it's definitely going to be scary, but it's definitely worth it. You'll definitely see results, even if it does, it's not going to happen overnight, of course. Um, but I say go for it. Definitely. Um, cause I know I was kicking myself in the butt when I did not jump on it in January, mm. um, because I was going back and forth, thinking about money, investing here, investing there. But when I actually put my mind to it and say, okay, I can do this. This is not hard. Take these steps and did it. And the results are amazing. Like I would never think that in six months I would have profit at least $30,000. Mm. I didn't even do that with dance. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's like, it's, it's amazing. I would say definitely go for it. Follow your heart, pray about it. Um, strategically plan, strategize, um, and listen to Joyce podcasts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> do you listen to the podcast have you been listening to other ladies tell their story and now yes. you get to tell yours cool yes, cool. yes, yes. i was so excited when i was asked yeah it's nice to know other people are listening because yes. i know i never hear you know if people are actually listening to it or not it's nice to know and then yes. for you to be on it then you'll get to hear your own episode so that's fine <laughs> yes <laughs> yes that's great how is owning a dance studio, different, better, worse than owning a preschool. What's, what do you, how are they compare those two? Cause I used to think maybe I would want to open a dance studio back when I was teaching dance. And then I can't, and then I don't know, I was like the business thing isn't, and that's not my love for it. You know, mostly I loved performing because even teaching yeah. dance, I was like, Oh, I just miss performing, you know? So mm-hmm. But like, I actually do. And even with the preschool, like the teaching, I, I prefer teaching more than just running the business, which is kind of what I'm doing now. 
but what do you, how do those two experiences differ since? Um, well, completely. Cause when I started my dance studio, I wish I had the guidance, how, how mm. joy is set up. So I didn't have that. I kind of had to fish and learn everything on my own. Mm -hmm. And so when I started the preschool, I had that knowledge as well as the steps that joy laid out to help those, um, nights where I couldn't find anything or nobody to talk to. She, it was like, she was there, but she wasn't there. Right. So that yep. made it completely easier. Um, less stress on the family. Um, like my husband, he sacrificed so much with my dance studio. So it was a lot of stress, mm. um, but we made it happen with preschool. It was like, Oh, look, this is what happened. Look, she said, do this, do this, this, this. And, um, he believed in me. So I guess that also support helped as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was just a complete different experience, you know, starting this business. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. I like to hear that because <laughs> I know, I mean, I, I know starting a dance studio is a lot because I've been a part of other people, you know, been the, on staff when other people were starting their studio oh. and there's a lot. I'm glad you said that. That's another thing too. Um, starting in the home, then starting with the commercial space as well, because mm. there's more upfront costs. Right. So that's something as well. I started with my own space, um, a large space. So it was definitely more money to put out. Whereas yeah. my home, it was definitely a low startup cost. Right. It played a major part as well. Yeah, totally. That's huge. That's huge. That's one of the best parts about this is that we don't have to have such a huge startup cost. Yes. And then we can kind of start small and grow, definitely. Because setting up my garage, I mean, I converted my garage and it wasn't, and I did it like on the cheap because I bought all the stuff off Facebook Marketplace and secondhand. And it was pretty cheap. The most expensive stuff was like, you know, the license and all that stuff. Yes, but exactly. it's, it, yeah, totally. Well, okay. Do you have any other little nuggets of wisdom to drop before we, before we up depart? <laughs> um, I guess pray about everything. Definitely don't be scared to ask because someone else probably has the same question or walk through it already to help you, you mm -hmm. know, help you navigate or spark a new idea. Mm -hmm. Um, is definitely uh definitely join preschool all stars if you're even thinking about a preschool um and don't want to start yet because the steps are definitely there somebody thought about it somebody's done it and it can help you tr um trigger your thoughts to see how you want to do yours because there's mm -hmm. so many women inside of our group but everybody has something else to offer yeah so no one's taken from anybody and it's absolutely amazing. yep and everyone is so willing to share Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's the one of the best groups I've ever been in. There's no, literally no negativity. I've never seen anyone arguing the group ever. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. And now there's performing arts. I haven't talked to anyone who did it, who's done a performing arts preschool, which is great. I like to incorporate like some dance and tumbling and, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, stuff like that into my program, but now I'm not teaching so much anymore. So my teacher's definitely not a dancer. She does yoga with them, which is cool, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I like the idea of just having like it performing arts based and mm -hmm. perhaps when I expand, I'll look into that because yeah. I want to incorporate dance. That's like my first love, you know, it's my first love and kids love dancing. I mean, we do tons of dance songs, you know, movement songs, but it would be cool to be able to incorporate more of a more of dance program. Yes. Well, you got me thinking. You got me thinking about a lot of things. Yay! Thank you, Aisha. <laughs> Thank you for your words of wisdom. And I wish you so much luck in your next step. We can meet up next year and we'll get the we'll get the update on what's going on. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. You have a great night. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. If you'd like to have a success story just like that one, I invite you to join our Preschool All-Stars. It's my exclusive membership community where you'll get mentorship from me with weekly Q&A lives, support and guidance and friendship from hundreds of women on the exact same journey as you starting, running, and growing their preschools, and my exclusive access to Preschool University, every training and done for you file that you'll need for every milestone on your journey to help you start, run and grow your preschool. We've all been there and we've got the exact same steps that you need to go through, but we do it all very quickly so that you don't have to waste time or money doing the wrong things at the wrong time. We'd love for you to join our Preschool All-Stars membership. Just go to preschoolallstars.com or click the link in the description to a immediately jump into Preschool All-Stars. Again, go to preschoolallstars.com and we'll see you there.